Today we will discuss about how to create a cumulative chart and slice our cumulative chart based on our reporting month. So in the previous video in the description below, we discussed about how to create a cumulative or running total values for a given chart over here. So today we will discuss about another chart that we are able to slice and see the movement of our cumulative values. For example, for March, we have the cumulative number March over here. It is our year-to-date plan and year-to-date actual. So the remaining plan and actual will be our forecast plan and forecast actual. So the entire figures, which is the final amount over our cumulative number of valves over here, is our year-end projection throughout the entire year, which is inclusive of year-to-date and forecast. So whenever we slice our report uh, for each of the reporting month, we are able to update the information for the visualization over here, for our year-end projection. So today we'll discuss about this part. So how to create a stack bar chart as such. First, we will need to see uh, what type of visualization you may need. So for my case, I will use the stack bar chart. So the minimum information we need is axis, legend, and values. For the axis, what we have is our year end projection, plan and actual. And for our legend, we split it into year to date, plan and actual, and forecast plan and actual. For our values, we will use DAC to collect our information based on our number of value of plan and actual into these four buckets. And then the Power BI visual will sum it up for us, the total numbers over here. So let's do it in a new table. So since the raw data, we only have number of valves, we split into actual and plan with their corresponding month. We will need to have a new data table structure as such to fulfill our summarize table. So we will enter data. Let's call it drilling well summary. So we have our axis, our axis, and we have our legend. For our legend, we have our year to date YTD plan. We have our forecast plan. We have year to date. We have our forecast actual. We also, this two is part of our UM projection plan. And this will this two will be part of our UM projection actual. So we will create a new table. After we create a new tables. We we'll look at a new page report on how are we going to view our data. So we will go to sample two and create from a new page. So we will select the stack bar chart. We will put in our axis. We we'll put in our legend. So the values is the text measurement that we are going to do. So we will create new measures. So from here we will type in this number of valves because we will use split function. So based on our selected what is our values, we will use the legend. So we have four bucket of information. So we will use the legend, which is our First is our year to date plan. So what is our year to date plan? We will copy and paste the previous cumulative measurement we created. So this measurement can be found in the link description from our previous video. So 
So we just copy and paste. And we paste it. We will consolidate into two lines so we will ease it will be easier for us to modify later on. So what are we going to modify? So we calculate the total number of valves and we apply a filter based on the month, the, all the selected month. So uh, what our selected month will be filtered based on? For example, if I select March, we would like to have the cumulative number from Jan to March. So our valve for our drilling will be less than or equals to our selected value of our reporting month over here. So let's look at uh, an, a first example of our data, how it looks like in our visuals. So we will pull in the number of value into the values over here. So we will have 14. So for example, in May, we have 14. So if we select March, we will have 7. So we will fill in the remaining 3 bucket of information, our values. So we just need to add a comma. We will copy paste from here to here, our second information. This is our true. So we just need to modify over here, filter by actual. So now we will have two values. This is our year to date actual and year to date plan. So we will do the remaining for our forecast. So our forecast will be based on the reporting month after that. So if we select reporting month for March, we will need to calculate the cumulative for our plan and actual from April to December. So we will copy paste the formula again. We will call it forecast. So this time round, the cumulative number is based on whatever month after our selected reporting month. Similarly for our actual, we just need to place it as actual. So these are all the information we need and we will have our information for our job. So now whenever we select our reporting month, we will have all our information over here. So to make it more visualize pleasing, the visualization more pleasing, we can enable the data label, total label. We can remove the excesses maybe not needed. We can remove the title. So if we want our year to date actual and plan in front, we can sort our order over here. So we go back to the table, we edit query. Double click the source, we'll create and sort order in our data source. Call it order. So our year to date we want to be in front, we just place it in front and our forecast behind. So we can do it as such apply and close so we will go to our data view over here and then sort our legend based on our order so we will have this so to have our colors similar to the chart below we can change our data color our plan we want it to be gray
and for our actual we want it to be green so there you have it so let's recap what we have done over today discussion so what we do is we choose the visuals that we would like in a power bi which type of chart we like and then we create a table to fit the visuals for example the stack bar chart require three fields for us to create the visuals so we will have our axis and we will have our legend so we will create a table to fit in the visuals so just now as we mentioned we create the information over there so next the last information we lack of is value so we can create a dex to fetch our data from our source table so what we do is we use a switch case based on our legend column over here and then we use our dex to do a cumulative uh, sum summarize of, of our wells based on the reporting month and the values of all the wells number of wells and whether it's planned or actual